How's it going everyone? My name is Chips and in this video I'll be showing you how to build this Astro Delphus pen that you see in front of you now. For those of you that are new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough video with voiceover instructions so you can get this build on your arc. And as you can see on the screen right now is a full list of building materials you will need for this build as well as the map cords where I built this on Genesis 2. You can also find all of this information in the description below if you would like to quickly copy and paste it over to your own device. But with all of that said, I just want to tell you all thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and let's go ahead and let's get to building. So for the first step, we are going to lay down our foundation. So the way we're going to do this one is a little bit different than normal. We're going to kind of create the outside of the foundation and then we'll just fill it in. So first we're going to start off here with what's going to be the front. The first thing we're going to do is place a metal foundation down. To the right of that, we're going to add two tech foundations. We'll add two more right in front of those. Then we will add three more metal foundations right here, followed by three more tech, three more metal after that, and then again, two more tech with two more in front of them, and one more metal here on the end. We'll come around to this side and in line with that tech, we're gonna go ahead and add four more tech foundations. And then in front of the fourth one, we will add another metal. We'll do this again one more time right here. And then again, one more time right here. Now we're gonna add one more tech here on the end and again, turn our corner here. Now we'll add four more tech foundations to the right of that. Now we are going to add three rows of three tech foundations. So one, two, three, and then add two more rows out in front of it. So it should look like this now. Go ahead and add five more tech to the right of that. Go ahead and turn over this way and place one more tech with one more metal out in front of it. We'll go ahead and add four more tech coming down the right here and one more metal in front of the last one. Do this again right here. And then go ahead and fill in this spot right here with just three more tech. So now that we have all of those done to create kind of our perimeter, we're gonna go ahead and fill in the entire inside with either tech or metal foundations. It's really up to you. I'm gonna use tech, but if you don't wanna use the resources for tech, you can just use metal also. And now once you have that entire area filled in, go ahead and switch all of these tech and metal foundations to block. Next, we're gonna come to one of our sides where we have the metal foundation sticking out and we're gonna place a wooden fence foundation on the metal foundation. Now go ahead and add five metal pillars to each side of that wooden fence foundation. And then we're gonna go around the build and do this on each of these metal foundations that we have sticking out on our sides. Now here again on one of our sides, we're gonna start on this frontmost tech foundation on the right side of this metal pillar. And we're going to place five high tech walls. We'll skip between the pillars for now. And on these three, we'll place five high tech walls as well. And then you can go ahead and fill in the other two spots where we have three foundations with five high tech walls on each one. And then finally here at this backmost one, we will also place five more tech walls right here. Now we're just gonna go to the other side of the build and do the same thing over there.
Now for this next step, we're gonna come back to our side, this time between where we have the metal pillars. We're gonna get out a tech wall again, and we wanna make sure we're getting this green snap point so it's placing on the tech foundation. Go ahead and place these four high. So it should look like that. Now just go ahead around the entire build and anywhere where we have the two metal pillars, go ahead and add four tech walls between them. All right, now we're gonna come back to one of our sides where we have the metal pillars and we're going to get out a tech ladder and add five of them on the outside of this metal pillar. So it should look like that. Go ahead and do it on the other one as well. So there we have both of them done. Now we're gonna go around the build and everywhere where we have these sets of metal pillars, we are going to add five high tech ladders to each one only on the outside of the pillar. We're not gonna do it on the inside of the build. Now we will come to one of our metal foundations on the side and on the three remaining sides of the foundation, we will place two high metal walls. Then on the two side walls, we'll go ahead and place the appropriate sloped metal wall so that it points inward. And then go ahead and drop a metal stair down from this tech wall. And then once you have that metal stair placed, go ahead and switch it to ramp. Now again, go ahead around the rest of the build and do this on each spot where we have these metal foundations. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit here on what is the front of the build. So we're gonna come in here and on this first foundation on the corner, we're going to place five high tech walls, followed by a sloped tech wall left. On this next spot right here, we will place six high tech walls. And we will also turn right here and do that on this side of the foundation. We'll come to our other front corner over here and on this first spot, again, place five high tech walls and a sloped tech wall right. And then again, on these next two spots, place six high tech walls. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some pillars here on the back side of our build. So first we're gonna come in here to this corner and place a wooden fence foundation on this tech foundation. Then right here in this spot, we will place two high metal pillars and we will add two tech ladders to this side of it. Go ahead and do that again right here on this foundation. Again, place the metal pillar right here and add your two tech ladders. Now we will come here to the back most part and right here on the corner, we'll place another wooden fence foundation. And then on this corner spot, we will add seven high metal pillars. And we're again gonna go ahead and add seven tech ladders coming up this side of it. And then we will also do this side right here as it's kind of on the outside of the build. Come over here to this corner on this foundation and place another wooden fence foundation. Add your seven more metal pillars right here. And then again, go ahead and place seven high tech ladders on the two sides that face the outside of the build. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start adding some walls to the back side. So first on these first four foundations, we're gonna go ahead and place two high tech walls. We'll go ahead and do that on the other side here on these four foundations, starting right here and going over. 
Then we are gonna come here to the middle and we're going to skip that spot with the fence foundation and first start off right here by getting out a metal wall and you may need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that you get this light blue side. Now we'll go ahead and get out another one right here where the fence foundation is. And if you notice, because of that fence foundation, there are multiple snap points. You wanna make sure you get this one right here. That lines up with that other one and causes that smooth surface. Go ahead and add one more metal wall on each of those. We will skip this middle spot for now and do the same thing right here. Now in the middle spot, you can go ahead and place a tech double door frame. And you again may need to rotate the snap point to get this bright green one. Go ahead and fill that in with a tech double door and then add one more metal wall on top of it. Continuing on this backside wall, we will first come in here to this metal pillar and get out a tech catwalk and place it just like this above the pillar. Go ahead and add two more here to the left of that. Now we'll go ahead to the other side and do the same thing on this one. Now going to the right. Then we will come to this spot over here and on these first two spots, we'll place two high tech walls. Do this on the other side as well. Now we'll go ahead and fill in all of these spots between these two tech wall sections with two high metal walls. Once you have that done, we're gonna come back up here and right where the tech and the metal meet, we're gonna get out another tech catwalk and take them all the way across until we reach this point on the other side. Now here on the corner, we're gonna start off by placing a tech wall, followed by a sloped tech wall right. We'll head to the other side and do the same thing, except we will use a sloped tech wall left. And now we will just fill in between these two spots with two high tech walls. Now we're gonna come in here to this spot that we have on the very back of our build. And first heading to one of our sides, we're gonna go ahead and add four high tech walls right here and right here. Now on this backmost side, I'm first gonna place one high tech wall here in the middle. And then again on the side here, you can see because of the fence foundation, we have multiple snap points. So make sure you're getting the one that lines up with that first wall and do the same thing right here. And then add three more on top of each of those. Now here on this side, we will again place four high tech walls on each one of these. And now on the first spot up here, we're gonna go ahead and add a metal ceiling to each of these like this. And then on this spot, we will drop a tech stair down. We'll go ahead and turn around and on the second high spot, add two more metal ceilings. And then right here, drop a tech stair. Turn around again and on the third high spot, add two more metal ceilings and drop a tech stair down right here. And then turn around again and at the very top, add two more metal ceilings. And again, drop a tech stair right here. Now we'll go up to this top spot right here and add four more tech walls. And in the very next spot, we will place three tech walls followed by a sloped tech wall left. On our three spots here on the most back, we'll place three high tech walls. And then right here, we will again add three tech walls, and this time we'll use a sloped tech wall right. And then we will use four more tech walls right here. Now we're gonna go ahead to the next spot up right here and add one metal ceiling. We are not gonna place one right here. And just go ahead and drop your tech stair down. And then you can just go ahead and drop a tech stair down from this tech wall to connect it to the metal ceiling. Once you have that done, we're just gonna go ahead and add two more tech walls to these two spots right here. All right, now we're gonna start adding some pillars on the inside of our build. Starting off on one of our front corners, we're going to come in line with that first pillar we placed right there. And we're going to place another metal pillar right here on the corner of these four foundations and add one more on top of it. Now you may have noticed I did not place a wooden fence foundation first. 
I just basically snapped it in line with the other pillar and there is an advantage and disadvantage to doing this. So the advantage of it is you don't have to use wooden fence foundations, which basically prevents you from having more snap points depending on where you placed it. And then maybe you place a pillar wrong and it ends up not in line with the other ones. The disadvantage is that basically these are all tied to the first fence foundation we placed right under there. So if that fence foundation gets destroyed, all of your then pillars in sequence with the other ones will also get destroyed. So I like to just not use the extra fence foundations, but it's completely up to you. If you want to add fence foundations instead first to snap your pillars to, feel free to do that to give yourself a little extra support. Moving on though, we're going to go ahead and then now right here in this corner in line with that pillar, we're going to add two more metal pillars right here. And then one more spot out right here, we're going to add three metal pillars. So it should look like this now. We're gonna go ahead and duplicate that over here on this corner, starting off with two metal pillars right here, two more right here, and then three more right here. Now we're gonna to head to one of our back corners and basically do the same thing right here with this pillar. We'll place two right here. We'll place two right here. And then we will place three right here. And go ahead and do this on the other back corner as well. Place two right here, two right here and then place three more right here. Now we're gonna to come to one of our spots where we have our metal pillars again. And first, right in front of each of these metal pillars, we will place two more, just like this. And then in front of those, we will again place three more. Go ahead then and do this in the other three spots where we have our metal pillars remaining. And now that you have all of your pillars placed for now, what we're going to do is get out tech ladders. And on any of these pillars that are three high, we're going to add them to this face that kind of faces towards the inside of the build. So right here. So go ahead and add three tech ladders to each of the three high metal pillars. Make sure only you're only doing it on the side that faces inward to the build. All right, now we're gonna come back in here to one of our corners where we have the pillars. And first between the three high pillar and the two high pillar, we're going to add three tech walls. We'll come over here between the wall and the pillar right here and add three more tech walls just like this. And then between the two, two high pillars, we're going to add two high tech walls. Now we're gonna go ahead and place a metal ceiling right here. And then on each side of that metal ceiling, add one more tech wall. So it should now look like this. So we're gonna go around and on each spot where we have these pillars, we're basically gonna do the same thing. So here in the middle one, we'll go ahead and add three high tech walls right here. Come around and do that on this side as well. Go ahead and again, place two high tech walls between these two pillars, add your metal ceiling, and then add one more tech wall on each side. So like I said, we're gonna do this on each one of these spots. So just go around the rest of the build and continue doing this. All right, now right here at the front, we're gonna come in where we have these metal foundations. And first, right here on the corner, we're going to place two high metal walls, followed by a sloped metal wall left. We will then place one more metal wall and another sloped metal wall left. We'll place one metal wall right here. Go ahead and turn to this side and place one more right here. And then again, turn and place one more right here. We'll place another one right here in a sloped metal wall right. And then we'll place two more metal walls and another sloped metal wall right. So you should now have something that looks like this. So we're just gonna go around to each of these spots where we have these kind of big pillars right here and duplicate what we just did.
Now we're gonna head inside our build here to one of our back corners and we're gonna get out a metal ceiling and place that right here by these tech walls up in this corner, just like that. Go ahead and then drop three tech stairs down from the front of that to get us down to the floor. And go ahead and do that over here on this side as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and continue placing metal ceilings. So first we're gonna fill in these two spots right here with more metal ceilings. And now we are just gonna continue all the way across here to the front of our build, filling in these two rows with metal ceilings. Now one thing you do wanna watch out for and be careful for is that sometimes you're gonna want these things are gonna to wanna to place in the wrong direction as you can see. So you may need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system to make sure they are all placing in the same direction. It just makes it look a little bit nicer. And now that you have this side done, just go ahead to the other side of the build and do the same thing over here. Now we're gonna come into one of these spots where we place those metal walls and we're gonna drop a tech stair down from the metal ceiling. Place one more in front of that and then one more dropping down kind of in between these metal walls and go ahead and do that on the remaining ones as well. Here in one of our bays, we'll go ahead and drop a tech wall down from each of these three metal ceilings. And then we will go ahead and place a tech catwalk right here between these two walls as well as between these two walls. Now we'll just go ahead around and do this in all of the other bays. Now we're gonna come into each of these spots where we placed our three high metal pillars earlier. And we're gonna go ahead and add two more metal pillars on top of those ones. So just like that. So like I said, go ahead around and do this on every spot where we placed those three high pillars towards the start of the video. Now that you have that done, we're going to go ahead and get out tech ladders and we're just going to add two more tech ladders to the front of each of these pillars. Next, we will come in here to this metal ceiling and get out a tech wall and place it too high. We'll go over here between these two pillars and do that again on this ceiling. Go to these two pillars and do that again on this ceiling. And then go here to the back side in this last spot, do it again right here. We'll go ahead and do this on the other side as well. Then we're gonna start off right here on this first pillar. We're gonna get out a tech catwalk and place it just like this. And we're gonna continue taking these across until we reach the last pillar on the back side. So stopping right here, go ahead and do that on the other side as well. Now we're gonna come in here to one of these open spots and we're going to place two high greenhouse walls on all three of these metal ceilings. And do that in all of these remaining open spots on both sides of the build. And now lastly, we'll just come up here and get out a tech wall and take a line of them across all of these walls that we have recently placed. And then again, go ahead to the other side of the build and do this over here.
Now we're gonna add some stuff to the inside of these top portions. So first, starting off here, it's gonna be towards the front of our build. We're going to head to the second wall in. And on that metal ceiling right there, we are going to place three tech walls here on the side. We will place two here on the back and three more on this side. Then we will come right here to this spot between the tech walls and the metal pillar and place a metal double door frame. And you should be getting that light blue side facing you. Go ahead and add a tech wall on top and it should be the green side. And then add a sloped tech wall right on top of that. Now we'll come over here to the other side and add another metal double door frame right here, a tech wall, and then a sloped tech wall left. So it should look something like this now. So now what we're gonna do is come to each of these spots right here between the pillars and this spot here at the end and do the same thing we just did. So now that you have that done here on this side, just go ahead to the other side of the build and do it over there as well. Now we're gonna come in here to one of our spots where we have the greenhouse walls, and we're going to place a thatch ceiling out here in front of this first one. We'll skip the middle and do that again right here. Go ahead around to each of these bays and do this. So there we go. Now starting off here on the right side of the build on this first one, we're gonna get out a sloped tech wall right, and you'll see it will be facing like this with the green side facing you, and pointing inward, this would be destroying that greenhouse wall. So what we want to do is we want to rotate the snap point using whichever gear button is appropriate for your system until you get this bluish snap point that is actually placing on the thatch ceiling. Go ahead and place that down. Now on this other thatch ceiling, we will get out a sloped tech wall left, and we will again do the same thing, rotating the snap point so that it places like this. So go ahead and do that on these other two spots here on the right side. Now we will head to the left side of the build, starting off at the front. And on this spot right here, we will instead use the sloped tech wall left first. And then right here, we will use that sloped tech wall right. So go ahead and do this in the other two spots as well. And then once you have all of those placed, you can go ahead and pick up or destroy those thatch ceilings. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start working on our roof. So starting off here on the backside, as we come up the staircase that gives us access to the roof, we'll add a tech ceiling coming out from that staircase. We'll then place four more to the left of that. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a row, starting right here, all the way to the front of our build. Now you can go ahead and take a row connecting us to the other side of our build. Go ahead and take another row to connect us to the back side of the build. And then go ahead and connect these over to that first one that we placed. Now here on one of our sides, we'll come into one of these little spots where we have sort of this opening where we place the two high-tech walls and we'll go ahead and drop a metal stair from that two high-tech wall, just like that. Go ahead and do that on the other three spots. Now we'll go ahead and get out a tech stair and drop one down from each of these tech ceilings we just placed. So it should look like this now. So once you have that done, just go ahead and do it again on the other side of the build. All 
All right, now we'll come in here behind this line of tech ceilings that we have at the front and place a line of metal ceilings going from one side to the other. And go ahead and take note of how these metal ceilings are placing. Now we're gonna go ahead and count three ceiling spaces over. So one, two, three, and then go to the fourth one. So right here. And we're going to add another line going across and just make sure that you rotate this ceiling around so you get it facing the same way as that first line that you placed. Go ahead and count three more ceiling spaces over. So one, two, three, and then skip to the fourth one. And again, go ahead and place a line going across. And then one more time, go ahead and count three ceiling spaces skip to the fourth one and place another line going across. All right, now we're gonna start off first here on this tech ceiling to the side of those metal ceilings. We're gonna go ahead and place a sloped metal wall left right here. We'll come to the other side of that ceiling and place a sloped metal wall right. And then on all of these metal ceilings, we'll go ahead and take a line of metal walls going across. On this tech ceiling right here, we'll place a sloped metal wall left. Come to the other side and place a sloped metal wall right. And take another line of metal walls going across. Then you can go ahead and fill in up here between the metal walls with metal ceilings. And then finally come to the end here and drop a metal stair down from that metal ceiling and switch it to ramp and do the same thing on the other side. So then you can just go ahead and repeat this process on the other three portions where we have those metal ceilings. Now we're gonna come in here to this first metal beam at the front of our build, and we're gonna go ahead and get out a thatch ceiling and hang it from the back side of this metal ceiling so it's kind of hanging over the gap. Go ahead and do that right here as well. So it should look like that. Now in this first spot, we're gonna go ahead and get out a sloped tech wall left and just place it just like this. Go ahead and then get out a regular tech wall and place it like this. Now we're gonna to head to the other side of this metal beam and place another thatch ceiling right here and this time we'll place a sloped tech wall right so it should now look like this so go ahead and do that on the next two beams as well on this back side right here now that we have those ones done we're going to come to this beam here on the very back side and we're just going to turn around here We'll go ahead and place a thatch ceiling right here. Now we only are gonna place one here on this side. Go ahead and then place your sloped tech wall left. Go to the other side of it. Place one thatch ceiling again, only one now, and place your sloped tech wall right. So it should look like that. We'll head to the other side of this beam right here and do the same thing. And then one more time, we'll head to the other side of this beam right here and do the same thing. Now that you have all of those placed, you can go ahead and pick up or destroy all of these thatch ceilings. All right, we're now again gonna come in here to where we place this first kind of metal beam. And where we place that tech wall, we're gonna go ahead and place a tech ceiling going in from it now. Go ahead and add six more going to the right. Stopping right there. Go ahead and add two more rows of seven behind those ones.
Now we will come here to this side and drop a tech wall down from each of those ceilings, just like this. Go ahead to the front side and do the same thing. Now we're just gonna go ahead and repeat this process on our other two openings. Now we'll come to the side of our roof here where we have this gap. And the first thing we're gonna do is get out a tech wall and place one on each of these ceilings. And yes, the light blue side should be facing you. We will then go ahead and drop a tech stair down from each of those tech ceilings above. So it should look like this. So go ahead and do this on these other two gaps on this side and the three gaps on the other side of the build. Now on the top of the build, we'll come in here where we have this gap between our two tech portions and on the middle three ceilings, we'll go ahead and connect them with three more tech ceilings and then go ahead and just drop a tech stair down from each side. Go ahead then and do this in this gap over here as well. Now we're gonna finish off our stairwell to get us up to the top. So the first thing we're gonna do is come in here and get out metal walls. And we're gonna place one on top of this metal ceiling right across from where our stairs come up. And then add two more to the right of it, just like this. We'll then come right here between this tech and metal and place a metal double door frame with the light blue side facing us like this. And add a tech wall on top of it. And then one more tech wall right here. Go ahead to the other side and do the same thing right here. Now we will go ahead and fill in these next three spots with tech ceilings, just like this, and continue doing that across. And then finally, we'll just go ahead and drop tech stairs down from these ceilings. Now back here on the front, we're gonna come in between our second and third tech wall right here. So right here and get out a sloped tech wall right and place it just like this. So you'll see it's right there. We'll go ahead and add another one at the level below it, just like that. And now we'll come to the other side and again, come between the second and third wall and this time place a sloped tech wall left and add one more to the level below it. Now we're just gonna go ahead and drop three tech stairs down here on this level and then three more on the level below those. And now for our final step, we are first gonna go ahead and drop a tech wall down from each of these tech ceilings here at the front. And then we will just go ahead and place a tech stair in front of these three tech foundations at our entrance. All right, everyone. So that is going to do it for the building portion of this video. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply a paint scheme that I think will really make this kind of fit the sci-fi feel a little bit more. And of course, I'll bring in all of our teams and show you a little trick that we can do to get them to actually stay still where we want them. So guys, stick around with me for one more second and I will show you what I come up with. All right, so like I said, I've gone ahead and applied our paint scheme and I have brought our Astrodelphus and a few other things in. So first here on the outside for the paint scheme, I have painted all of the metal pieces with the black color. And then I've painted all of our tech with the exception of the ladders and catwalks with the white color. I think this gives us a very futuristic or sci-fi sort of feel. And it just looks pretty clean with the white and black on the tech in the metal. You can also obviously tell I've brought some skiffs in and parked them up here on the roof. And that was kind of the purpose of having this staircase up to the roof was so we could park things up here, whether that be skiffs, wyverns, or something else. You just have a nice area up here where you can park extra things. 
as we head inside you'll see i've continued with the white and black paint scheme with the exception of adding some orange over here in front of our windows i think using orange or red just for a little bit of detail adds to that sci-fi feel and then obviously as you can tell we have our astrodelphus all here in their bays and the way i have these guys parked without flying away or floating is i've basically just loaded them down with weight whether that be metal stone or whatever you want to use and then when you're ready to take off with them you just go ahead and unload whatever you have into this dedicated storage or other storage whatever you want to place right there and this was actually something that somebody in my live stream recommended doing i don't know why i didn't think of it i was trying to figure out a way to park them and somebody just pointed out that i could just load them down with weight and that works out perfectly these rooms up here i have not done any kind of decorating they're meant to just kind of be overlooks to kind of fit with the style of the build but they could also be used as bedrooms storage rooms whatever you want to use this for if you actually want to make this an entire base rather than just a pen and then we also have these kind of like little tucked away rooms here at the end that could be used for generators or other things that you don't want people to be able to see all right everyone that is going to do it for this video and build i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this build done on your arc if you did don't forget to hit that like button leave me some feedback in the comments below and if you're new to the channel go check out some other builds and if you like what you see subscribe for future arc let's build videos also guys make sure you check out the description for a link to my twitter as well as my discord where you can come stay up to date with me and hang out with me and all of my friends but anyways guys with all of that said i just once again want to tell you thank you so much for being here today checking out this video and have a great day